who ended up 3 0 uh, Java two, back at one, the Spring Championships. Yeah, and that was that was far enough back to where Java was actually still doing stuff on Bodvar and Pierce on Fate. So this is a very different matchup, even though we've got a very historied uh, amount of sets between these two players. So we've got the Atori versus the Lucian. Pierre on the Blasters and the Katars, Java on the Sword and the Spear for Game Row 1. And already Java putting on a huge risk there with that Gravity Cancel Neutral Signature, trying to catch Pierre, putting out maybe an early Blasters recovery and spiking him off the bottom of the stage. I feel like in games where there's Blasters present, if a Blaster is connecting their GCD lights, they win the game. And if they just whip it, they are so vulnerable and give their opponent so much time to react and get the best possible punish. Yeah, it, you have to be the kind of Blasters player that has that as a... Okay, that's an amazing punish off of that down signature. And Pyramid might still turn this into an edge guard in Java's favor. Side air interrupted by the recovery. Yeah, it, 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 you have to be a Blasters player that has that as a play style. Sideline Delight Sider disarms him. Does he get mm -hmm. this here? Oh. Okay, so good in hand. Nice little neutral light as get off me tool and sends Pyramid further off stage. How do you make it back on? Nice, gently, and slowly. You spot dodge. Neutral light calls that out again. Java goes out there. Why? Well, to maybe punish Pyramid without a recovery, but it took so long that he ended up getting it back. Oh, and that down stick was not as punishable as Java had hoped. Did that recovery did not come through? Falls in the air. Let's see if Java can get the edge card this time around. Nice neutral light. Catches the pier out of a jump. I think he has to dodge back to the stage to even make this possible. And Java misses the punish, actually. The recovery hits him to the side of the stage, so it's not enough force to knock it out. This has been like the 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 uh, sloppiest Java edge guard that I think we've seen all day. You need a game to tighten it up. You just need that yeah. game to warm up and hopefully just uh, get it out of your system. There we but go. But really good GCD light into recovery punish on that whiffed recovery. Yeah, it's funny how actionable you are after an unarmed down light if it hits compared to if it doesn't. <laughs> and he saw how quickly he was able to let that recovery go through there. Now Java's starting to get a lot of extra credit here against Pierre. That down air was the right idea, but just pressed it too soon, was not oh. able to cover that spot dodge. And spot just dodge? What? Optimal. I can't, be I can't believe you stare at a, a Lucian down sig, spot dodge it, and then take a stock off of it. Oh, Pierre makes it back, though. I was that hoping was such a good catch. You toss up the weapon, you're like, oh, man, I got nothing left. Whoops, I still have my recovery. And you get that uh, bounce on the stage, and you make it back. And that Sider will get that edge guard there. Pierre's been putting out a lot of uh, weight on these down signatures and the guitars, and Java's been playing around them impeccably. Um, one of the things with Lucian is that he's just become so popular because of Luna uh, that I feel like a lot of players are just ready for a, the entire signature kit of the character. It's just so it's so common to see Downsig being used at the edge there. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now though, Pyr, uh goes out there for the down who did not find it and Open ended throw? up putting himself in quite the nasty position here as Java is controlling the... Huh. Okay. I mean, it was the first time we've seen him try that. That's a lot. I like those side sigs a lot more than the edge guard ones. And Java is very good at calling out players' landings uh, in center stage. So he does close out the stock. But yeah, I was also kind of like eyebrow raising at that side sig there. You look disappointed. In fact, not just raising an eyebrow. But, oh, you noticed. Uh, Java able to get the recovery there, makes it back onto the stage here. And yeah, I gotta say, just really shining in the way that he has been getting these edge guards. Going for it, right? Uh, that time around, catching that high recovery. What's gonna be the play here? Yeah, D light and sig, great punish, especially after you. Mm -hmm. You saw that gravity cancel coming through. No dodge. No dodge for Pierre again. Sider gets him on the recovery, and Java doesn't even risk going for the edge guard there because he wants to keep the stock lead. Uh, and he's still tacking on some more damage here. Sarah, gonna take longer than any other character to knock out with because of that four force. Such a good Sider just swatting away Pierre, who thought that maybe Java was just gonna go through the wall touch. Had enough trip to do so. Make it back on. Get a hit. But is this gonna be it? The recovery doesn't come out. Oh. Java Whoa. wants to steal that stock away, but Pierre is like, okay, relax. Get back down. One stock apiece. You're not doing that to me. Yeah, exchanging exhausted recoveries there towards the top, and Pierre ends up winning out. But Java. I mean, downlight side on either weapon would do it. Just a fleeting stare. <gasps> oh, he's got to be so careful. Oh, Get back. That okay. dodge was so clutch. If he missed that dodge there, Pierre wins the game. Yeah, such as Katari's. Okay, dodges right back onto the stage here. Um, makes it back on. But yeah, you have no weapon and you're going up against Spoon. It is a little bit difficult to infiltrate that space. You have to bait a committal option like a D-Light or a recovery. Or a neutral sig. Well, yeah, that, that sure is a commitment. Yeah, ground pound comes through. He accidentally lands on the, on the side of the platform. Wait, Java's looking shaky here. Can he get it? Dare delayed recovery. Does manage to close up that game. But the way that that was going was me being like... In my head, Job was kind of like, I should have won this 30 seconds ago. What's happening? And Pierre was just slowly taking that lead away from him. Uh, good on him for being able to close that out. Wow, high damaging game. Yeah, I really want to see that stock too again. I hope we get to that in time. Uh, just like seeing them both go all the way out there. It reminded me, have you ever seen like those like face slap competitions? No. Where it's like these two men, like burly men going at each other until like one of them gives up. That's what it I felt have. like when they took the stock off the top. Oh, like, are you talking about where there's like recovery versus recovery? Yeah. <laughs> 
They're just so exhausted towards the end. Yeah, I, they're just seeing who has the most endurance to keep that going. Yeah, that, it, it, seeing moments like that between unarmed guitars is definitely very rare. But uh, we've got those clips for later. Look at them We're going off stage right there. Then Nairn recovery was actually great. Pierce really relentless with the pressure here, and Java seems to be perfectly fine playing along with them. This is one of the scariest win conditions of Katari's, and Pierce is trying his best to actually execute on those. Java still makes it back though, just so good at timing those dodges and being cognizant of Pierce's offstage options and how to especially avoid down it. Yeah, Pierre ended up coming out on top when it comes to damage in that situation. But Java stuffs the recovery. Oh, that's no. it! What an awesomely placed side air. And honestly, a little lucky, I will say. I know that Java was just trying to get whatever damage that he could, and to get Pierre out of like, literally the frame of startup that he put in that recovery input was pretty devastating for his lead. A little bit unfortunate, but okay, gets that down light into the recovery. Goes Whoa. all the way up to Pierre just simply missed on the 50-50. Went to the right, and Java just so happened to go to the left. Yeah, that Nair would have maybe had enough force to knock out there. It would, it would have been close. Nair into down air, starts tacking on some extra credit. No dodge here. Can Pierre get the edge guard? Goes in for that dash jump side uh, pivot Sare, and Java's actually getting way more damage than I think he has any business doing right now. Pierre's having a lot of difficulty with the stock, and Java's taking a ton of risks. That's just like the nature of Katari sometimes, right? If you're not getting those edge guards, if you're not finding like your D-Light recoveries well, then, you know, you are just going to end up letting your opponent get a lot of extra credit. And then also the nature of Katars is sometimes you get a stock at, at zero. Java yeah. manages to make it back, though. Sidelight and Air comes through. Let's see what Pierre's able to do off this punish. Beautiful. You get put in the blender, buddy. You're getting turned into a puree. You ate so much damage just now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Pierre brings it right back off of one dare dodge read, and now Java has to see if he can get the, get the lead in his favor once again. You have no weapon here. I don't totally know why Pierre committed to like the weapon toss out there from before, and is definitely struggling because of it. Java is spacing him out. That is what you needed, though, right? You're just able to knock him out just for a second, and you're like, okay, I can pick up my weapon now. Ooh, nice gravity cancel delight. Gets the recovery right afterwards. Let's see if we can get anything else off of that. Nice patience. Way to see if Java's going to fast fall on the end sig hits. Goes for the gravity cancel side light, and Java almost gets the reversal on the stair. Now it's either player's game here. D light recovery comes through. One more of those will take him off the top of the same case. Goes for Pierre as well. No, Pierre. Oh! Does touch the stage. Dodge oh the gravity gosh. cancel end sig. Recovery doesn't knock out because it was beneath the stage. Otherwise, it would have done it. Such good patience to hold on to that till the last possible second. That unarmed recovery surprisingly did not take that stop. Oh. They both just had nothing. They were just both sweating, pressing the heavy button. That's so funny. Blaster's Nair almost knocking out on its own weapon throw recovery. That's what's going to be? Wow, that was a crazy mm -hmm. stock, too. So let's see if we have a repetition of stock one. Is Pierre going to be able to close out the stock, or is Java just going to obliterate this fresh one that Pierre has? Nope, not quite. That's going to be the GCD light into the recovery, keeping it as even as possible. Yeah, very risky, though. I talked about how that down light has so much end lag if it doesn't hit, and then Pierre used his dodge to make it work, so he really called Java out there. If that didn't work, I, he would have been an orange by now, and maybe this would have just been the game for Java. Well, luckily, that is not the case for Pierre, right? Makes back on. Okay, tries to go through the D light pickup into the down air. Was not so successful. Undo Ooh. shoots at that time and Java just swatting him away over and over with those side Yeah, lights. rolling across the stage with side light, maybe putting a gravity cancel side light here or there. We've seen Java go into this mode every once in a while where he's kind of like, okay, going to slow down the pace of the game, going to get my one hits <gasps> at a time, but uh -oh. he gets dared. Good reversal with the side air. D-Light side air catches Pierre the recovery. Did he touch the stage? He uses one recovery as a dodge. He's sweating. Does make it back. I think Pierre did use up that dodge. So has to be really patient. He gets it back, and Java doesn't actually commit to anything. The weapon toss neutral light gets Pierre off stage. Oh. Such a good reversal. Can you actually convert this into a stock? Oh. Not quite. That's a down air, a weapon toss, and goes through the GC D-Light to potentially get a ground pound, but it did not connect. You talked about it. You whiffed it. And guess what? Java made it back on. I can't believe that. That ground pound was so close. Java had to let the recovery go so early to be able to make a pass, though. There was a come in the stock, and now the spot touch is coming through, and Pierce finding himself in a situation again where he went for a weapon throw risk, and he had to wait that long for a weapon spot to come through. Java oh, could, get no. the, could, could just, just get the edge guard here off of Viser. Bad position to be in right now. Pierre using up that dodge. Java using Whoa. that as an opportunity to jump and commit to a side. Uh, is the neutral light doing it? Not yet. Yeah, Lucian defense. A little deceptive there. Recovery gets <gasps> it. A Finally gets the edge guard there, and Java celebrates the attack after a very close game, too. Um, where both players are, I think their recovery game is just good enough against each other that it's just close. But specifically, I feel like against Pier Java, it just keeps on getting away with like side and uh, Pier to be able to get back onto the stage and then able to turn that into their own stock. And I guess my question is, what is actually the counter play in that position? Other than you bait it by getting in that space and then you jump above it, or you use up your spot dodge in the air to... Uh you know, try and punish it. Yeah, it could just be patience on waiting for Java to go for these wake-up stairs, because I know what you're talking about. You're talking about when Java gets hit by a guitar dare, 
he immediately jumps stairs him into the wall and then suddenly turns his edge guard against him. Pilly just and needs to get in that space to bait it and then just jump away before uh, trying to commit to something else because this might, you know, it's working for Java, but anything can become a habit, anything can become exploitable to use against your opponent. Yeah, Java's even gravity cancel neutral sigged a few times and that's using his, okay. <laughs> Just keep doing it. Yeah, neutralize the seventh time, Java. Why not? Just keep poking him off the stage. It's the most tilting move to get hit by in the game, in my opinion. It's just um, like the animation is so long, and you're just like stuck in it. You're like, yeah, this sucks. Oh, yeah. what that's, a spike. That's just it. Double dare. Java goes down at the bottom of the stage, and Pierre has a huge lead in game three. This is a boost. This is new. This is exciting, in fact. Uh, Pierre able to get that kind of an edge guard. This is... Uh, exactly what he's kind of looking for all set. And with blasters, no less. He's been trying the entire time with the guitars. Oh, that was almost a call out on the dodge out, but you just needed to dash into your side light to be able to get that, but still, just a good idea. Yeah, there's that side air reversal and twice in again. a row into yeah. the wall. Pure just getting... Although this seems to be like a Java play style thing, it's still working quite a bit. Oh, that just would have worked. If you okay, went again... huge down... He... Out, that's it. Oh, not quite. You have to get out of there in time. Unfortunately, used up your chase dodge, used up the dodge. You can't dodge away from the recovery. I don't think Pure could have done anything to not get hit by that. Yeah, recovery comes through. Not going to take him off the top just yet, but it could be close. He finds one more. That should be it. No, doesn't go for recovery. Goes for Sarah instead. And Pierre's another chance at life. Okay. Goes, goes for the dare. Let's see if he can make it back. Pierre being nice and patient, getting back onto the stage. Here. Space is out of down. Now with the Katars yet again. Now let's take a look at what happens. Java went to the left. Just able to go up and over Pierre. Oh. oh. Ooh. And the weapon throw afterwards. Java's just gone. Yeah, this is... Did Java get stuffed out in the start up of Sider? Yeah. And I think Pierre's making the uh, the adjustments that we were hoping that he would make. Not from exactly games one the way two. that I anticipated, but rather just by getting as close to Java as possible and catching that animation before it comes out. Yeah. And Katars are good at that, especially when you're starting to use those nares and you're just doing them preemptively, right? Like if Java's being preemptive with his wake-up stairs, just recognize that you have him in a string where he's got to jump first before your attack mm -hmm. can come through. And, and now He's, oh, Ooh, that's... such a good dodge, but oh no, Java goes out there for the spike, and look at what happens. You're now stuck in this position. The weapon tossed to force you further back down. So Whoa. much pressure off stage. Ugh. Java going underneath the stage there, chasing him off arm. Okay, down air connects, gets the nair, tries to bounce him to the wall to maybe get like okay, the nair catches the dodge. Actually, Java's just full and armed. Well, I mean, this isn't unusual for him. It's a little unusual to be that long, but he definitely God, has had... I, I love offstage battles in this game, man. They're so cool. Yeah, they're, they're pretty fantastic. And it was hard to follow there because, oh man, Java was using his Nair really well to catch those dodge diagonal dodges, but both players make it back and now okay. he's just troubling him with blaster dares. Oh yeah, that's so oh. much damage and just that's the first time we've seen that all set. The down stick, yeah. Um, which is a pretty good move because it, it like hits in this weird downwards angle, but it just always sends to the top right or top left, and you can use it off stage, on stage, catch a landing with it whatsoever. But I think those two moves, those two dares right there, was kind of like the highlight of the entire game. Pierre switched over to the blasters. Even though the damage dealt between them was relatively even, I think the blasters are where he got most of his leads. This is sort of what I feel like happens with Katars. If you're getting your edge guards, you're kind of winning those games. If you're not getting those edge guards, well, maybe not so much. Pugh just keeps on dealing a lot of damage to Java out there. And if I'm Java, I'm a little bit more nervous than I was at the start of the set. He could just be like, I hate Miami Dome and now I'm fine. That yeah. that might be a reason. I, I don't know. There's like a, oh no, Sarah chased us directly up, almost caught Java. That recovery just worked out barely. How but do that you actually been... finish there without eating a sword recovery and letting them chase dodge back on? What is Peel's even option there besides just letting both of them get back onto the stage? Could have been delaying the chase dodge slightly so that he would end up following the recovery instead of riding alongside of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's a really tough call to make in the moment. And Pierre was just trying to play as fast as possible. And to comes through there, takes the damage lead. Sides it comes through there, pushes it even further. Can he get the knockout here? No, recovery does not connect. But that end sig will, and Java's Huge. already low on jumps. Yeah, has no jumps, but then Pierre just kind of over commits a little bit, mm. didn't fully recognize that situation, and then Java was able to get down and around. Oh, wow. Look at the damage. Look at this is this is so good. What adjustments have been made? Uh, well, he is ca he's calling out Java and center stage a lot more. That stock was neutral sig side. Side sig, neutral sig, side sig. Like that's basically what happened. And Java got hit by all four in a row, and now Pierre's starting to run away with the guitar lead here. Uh, Java just trying to get an edge guard here with a sword, um, and that could uh, be ill-advised. I feel like if there was any game not to do that against Pew, it would be like this one and the last one, right? Game yeah. one, and game two, you could do that. <laughs> Pew has warmed up a lot. That was the coolest thing that I've seen all day. Java just stood there, saw the weapon throw, stood perfectly still, waited for it to land on the stage, and then end lighted Pierre away. Uh, playing a little bit with 
with a little more patience now, as he's starting to get sick of the way that Pierre's starting to beat him, and that end light is a great spot dodge punish. Mm -hmm. Katari's in hand yet again, popping out the spot dodge just in case Pierre went for like a jump side and avoiding it, but goes all the way out there through the downer. That is a huge commitment. Touches the wall and gets out of the way before the ground pound actually connected. The I rare... can't believe Pierre made it out of time. Yeah, and then the rare drop cider there because of the corner of the stage means that Pierre has a little bit more stock to play with. That cider will bounce him into the stage once more. Early recovery, goes for the weapon throw, try to pick it back up. Pierre can't make it back. That's the edge guard. Java manages to make it even in stocks without taking too much damage, but that was a huge huge effort for him to be able to do that. Yeah, not too much damage, but still definitely a considerable amount onto uh -oh. the board, right? Pierre is going out there, waiting for Java to do something. Almost punished that uh, ground pound attempt, but Java still made it back safely. Yeah, Java is not failing to surprise me with how many ground pounds he's willing to throw off in disadvantage. It's, it's kind of crazy. He's just kind of like, ah, oh, I'm losing? He is getting away with it. He is. He hasn't gotten hit for any of them yet. Each, every, every time I hold my breath. He can't keep getting away with this. Uh, well, I, I mean, if he can't, then Pierce is going to end up getting it with, with a 3-0, right? Like, this is this is rough. But uh, Pierre right now looking to just catch Java on the landing with the side. Did not do so, but tossing out the weapon, covering high and able to go back down low with the downer. Nasty position to be in. Goes for the side to cover the wall and gets put off stage onto the other side as well. Such a good dodge punish on that recovery. That was... Just smart. You're anticipating like a jump side in. You're able to cover that and you're able to reaction punish it. That was amazing. Oh, and he gets the recovery. Gravity cancel. D-Light. Nair gets the downer as well. Whoa. Pierre running away with the game. Java manages to break the pressure for a second with a D-Light Sider. And then Pierre just goes right back to destroying him with that down. Take weapon throw force of the dodge. D-Light ground pound will be the secure there for a two stock in game four. And Pierre brings it back to a game five in a fashion where I'm like, whoa. Java, what happened to you? He, he's just getting destroyed. He's so sick. Purely so sick. This, this entire like last game has just been like so many different like really exciting like edge guarded sequences and um, that last stock was the Qatar highlight video and a half. I I don't I need to see what because it all started with the I told I told you about the true combo of, of recovery in air and a gravity cancel delight. It starts with that, and then and then Pierre just ended up turning it into a ton of damage that led into a two stock. Wow. So uh, this was not how I expected the set to go at all. Mm -hmm. uh, game one and game two, Pugu was not finding these stocks nearly as easily. Well, now here we are. Game number five, potential for the reverse 3 0 and make it into winner side of top eight. Oh, and that's right. This is for winner side of top eight. Mm -hmm. oh. A lot on the line. A lot is on the line here. And it's between Java and Pierre, who, with their set record being nine to nine, right? This is like. This is kind of going according <laughs> to plan. Well, it, it, yeah, it's going according to plan. And the win here is a pretty big deal because it gives one player the winning record over the yeah. other, right? Like, that's what really matters here. The winning record and yeah. feeling good about yourself, right? But right now, Pugu, uh, able to touch the wall in time. Okay, just sort of a repeat of the same situation as before. Java is no longer as keen to go out there through those kinds of ground pounds, and Pew makes it back safely. Yeah, let's see what adaptations Java makes here uh, in this game five, because I think he was taking a lot of risks. They weren't really paying off, and then Pierce Punish game was phenomenal in comparison to Java's, and that's what's been carrying him between games three and four. Now Java's starting to really let loose, Ooh. gets a recovery, but then Pierre reversals him, goes for the weapon throw down, dive kicks out of the way of a potential punish, and Pierce switches right over to the blasters to starve Java of a weapon. I love how many of the same situations just keep on repeating themselves. Between and it seems two, like, yeah, yeah. And it, like in that like sort of like recovery battle all the way up top. Pugu is the one that's slightly coming out, but you know what? Touch the stage is what I would say. That does not matter. Java going out there, finding that down, and finally, this is an amazing lead. Yeah, Java finally finding a stride. That was a really nice pivot there at the end there to be able to knock here off the right side of the stage, caught him into the side of the okay. wall like we've been seeing. He loves going for these siders into the wall, and they've been working out so and well. Weapon throw, pick up end light. with the GCD light, but then just slightly ended up misspacing it. Didn't get Whoa. too punished for the lack of the dodge, but right now Pugh has just been without a weapon for so, so long. How do you make it back on? Well, there you go. Yeah, Java is uh, looking like an unstoppable wall right now. This is, this is tough. We tried to go for a weapon <gasps> change there, and Pierre ends up Picking the guitars right from underneath his nose. Sword picked up there to delay, so no harm, no foul. He still can't get the stock. Ooh, Java ends up actually siding in the wrong direction, anticipating Pugu to go for cross up here. Ooh. That's the, ooh, that would have been huge, but yeah. did not actually find it. Oh, no. He dodges through with the dodge, and the ground pound doesn't work out. Pure is looking for that knockout, and now, missing that opportunity, Java could bring this three stocks to one at this rate. Sider comes through, edge guard. He has to use this dodge at some point. 
the ground oh, no. pound Chop dodges didn't commit through. To a button immediately just went through the ground pound. I'm very surprised. Pug is able to live another day. Maybe, maybe not anymore. He gets a wall touch again. But that side of the hitbox so disjointed, keeping him alive. But maybe, who knows how long. Yeah, I mean, that's the first time I think we've seen Java's preference to staring people into the stage, not paying off. He couldn't get D-Light ground pound from that angle, so he mm -hmm. had to go for whatever he could get. Yeah, he was below Java instead of being above to be able to connect that, right? So a little bit unfortunate, and now, I mean, if I'm Java, I'm like, you can take my stock whenever you want. Maybe I'll get one on you, but the point is, uh, this lead is Ooh. massive. Yeah, Pierre dashing forward, looking for that unarmed recovery. Java just starving of a weapon to be like, I could play this game all day. I don't care. Throws the weapon forward. There's the new one. Okay, still not, not enough. KOing. Yeah, you really feel the 4-4 four -four solution when you're uh, when you're unarmed. And Light does not hit, and that Cider will finally take down Java's first stock. Pierre is, like, severely damaged, That's though. brutal. That is not how you want to does open Does unarmed Side Light game. kill? Okay, it does. Knock out. Don't say it. It's fine. There he goes. Yeah, Last stock yeah. for Pierre. So, again, with uh, weapons as explosive and volatile as Katara's, anything can happen here, right? With just one good sequence offstage. But Java's neutral has really tightened up this game. Ooh. With punishing Pew so much, that's that delayed neutral to be able mm. to punish that spot dodge now. Yeah. And getting a lot of mileage off of that. We talked about how you need to make that change for how Pew is delaying the spot dodge for the Nairs to hit in the first place. Whoa, Sidelight, D-Light, Sider! That was a nice six hit string coming up from Java. And now it's all Such about currents for Pierre. He's got to get a clean stock right now and then do the same thing that he did in game number four to even have a chance. But Java's pressure is just looking amazing right now. Pig is popping out these dodges a little bit too soon and Java is taking full advantage of it. Tries to get something going. Was not able to find the turn around down. Um, not able to get this neutral light either. Hugan whiffing that neutral light as well. Pig is struggling to find this clean opening against Java. Nothing is really... Is he looking for a side stick on the landing here? I don't I don't know what Java's looking for. Pierre, I mean, I guess <gasps> he, he could take Huge. his time, right? Weapon throw is coming oh, forward no. here. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's going to be Java. Wow. Side stick gets him off the right side of the stage, and that's going to be more than eh, almost double damage there for that game number five, which is a crazy necessary uh, adaptation from what happens in game three and four. Like to, to bounce back from getting reverse 3 0'd off of a two stock in game four to being able to play that well against your.